What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, and make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. Now for this video, we're going to be jumping back into the future state with Gotham. Now this will be issue number three. And if you haven't been keeping up with all of the Future State Gotham, go ahead and check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on in this super awesome line. Now there's a lot of things going on in the Future State event, but this is kind of in the early days of it. And we're seeing Red Hood as one of the Peacekeepers, being referred to as Peacekeeper Red. But with Peacekeeper Red arriving at Blackgate, he gets jumped as all of the criminals somehow make it out of their cells. And now he only has the new Batman, someone he does not trust at all. He is the only individual that currently has his back. Now this manga style issue is written by Dennis Culver and Joshua Williamson. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright guys, so as we dive into issue number 3, it is picking us up with Tim Drake and Nighthawk. And right now, they're trying to figure out exactly what caused this giant explosion in the middle of the city. Them believing that it could possibly be this new Batman, because this explosion is literally in the shape of a Batwing. And Nightwing, he really doesn't know what to think right now. The only thing he knows is they need to find this new Batman before the Peacekeepers or before the Magistrate are able to get their hands on him. And that's what will pick us up inside the prison. With the new Batman and Peacekeeper Red doing their best trying to hold off everybody. And while they're fighting, they're having a conversation. This new Batman trying to say that he's trustworthy. Trying to say that they need to be able to work together to get out of this. That he didn't create that explosion. And he wants to help him track down and find who did this. But as it stands, both Nightwing and Tim Drake, pretty much the entire Bat family, has, has pinned all of this on the new Batman. Or at least that is their assumption as it stands. And with Red Hood secretly working for the Peacekeepers for the real Batman, he is extremely skeptical of who this new guy is. But they decide that it is best if they work together, because that's the only way that they are going to be able to get out of this alive. And asking why he is even here at Blackgate to begin with, this is when they see Astrid Arkham. Because this is exactly who both of them came here for. And with Astrid joining up with these two, they now are surrounded by everybody, to include some of Astrid's knights. None of them are extremely happy with her right now, and they want to take her out. But with the three surrounded, they go to make their exit, only for a giant explosion to happen. Now, of course, the guards, they hear this explosion, and they start making their way to the armory with the power down. But as they're making their way, this is when they run into Punchline. And they try to tell Punchline to get back in her cell, get back in there before they do anything to her. But this is where we see her take a knife and slit the throat of one of the guards. And then the other two guards, they just point her in the right direction to get out of this place. Because they also don't want their throat slit. And so Punchline is being able to make her escape from prison. All while Red Hood, Astrid, and the new Batman are trying to gather their senses. Because after the explosion, they are all dazed and confused. And they don't get much time to gather their thoughts, to gather their senses, before someone grabs Astrid. That someone being none other than Warmonger. And both the new Batman and Peacekeeper Red, they try going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Warmonger, but they are unable to. After everything that they have gone through, they are just too tired to be able to take on such a monster of a human being. And with these two being at the feet of Warmonger, he tells all of them to join him. To join him, and they will march on Gotham. And they will wage a war like never be seen before. Now, of course, after hearing all of the commotion go on, that's when Robin and Nightwing, they make their way to Blackgate Penitentiary. Making their way there, trying to figure out exactly what happened here. But we learn really quickly that all of the prisoners have escaped, or at least all of them in this wing have escaped. Peacekeeper Red is nowhere to be found. And so they can only assume that he was taken or possibly even killed. And this is where we pick up with Warmonger. Currently having Astrid prisoner and having the new Batman and Red Hood 
stuck down in this well, tranking them with some kind of dart. He welcomes them to the Forge of Warriors, telling them that only one of them will be allowed to leave alive. But Warmonger tells them that they're not going to have a choice soon. That soon the, the freedom, that free will is going to be taken from them. The anger, the aggression, it's going to take over and they will fight one another. And this is where we see the new Batman start to get enraged. So much so that he tells Red Hood that he is going to kill him. And we see the two of them start battling one another. Now, picking up in another place, this is where we have Harley Quinn. Now, Harley Quinn, she has been sitting down watching TV, watching the news, watching this jailbreak, and seeing that Punchline has broke out of prison. And of course, Harley Quinn is not going to allow this to stand and she is going to hunt down punchline all on her own and that will be the end of this issue so let me know what you guys think down in the comments you know as i have said many times before i am not a manga fan i've never been a manga fan and this does not change that at all <laughs> Just, you know, I, I, I enjoy color. I really do. I know it's not all about color, but I really enjoy good color making these characters pop. And I feel when, when you take that out of the equation, it's lacking so much depth that could really be told in that story if you simply had that color in there. But with that being said, if you can look past that, if you enjoy the manga aspect of it, then I would say this is a really great comic. A little bit on the shorter side than I would like, but it's a really interesting story that we probably should have gotten months and months ago. Because we were left with so many questions on why Red Hood was working with the Magistrate, on why he would become a peacekeeper. And now we're really starting to understand that, is that Batman, the real Batman, is still alive. But because the Magistrate got the upper hand on him, they made it to where Batman has to stay in hiding. And so he is working through Jason Todd to be able to do everything that he needs to do to be able to get back on top and be able to take down the Magistrate. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell. Make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. And until the next breakdown.